Amen, amen, amen. Uh -huh. So Angloga Junction is what we are pushing now. Definitely. Tell me why you decided to push the Hood Angloga Junction, which is a very, very popular junction. Exactly. It, as uh -huh. the title of your album. I'm I'm an Anglo boy, you know, obviously. And I this whole album has been inspired by the journey so far, the influences that I have gained from being an African and the influences also from the West, you know, and the things that we've learned on the journey. So this is just a combination of ideas, experiences, you know, inspirations that brought me to put this 15 piece track together for the world. And titling it Anglaga Junction is just to identify its roots proper, you know, to the core. Yeah. And how many songs are we looking at on the Anglaga Junction? We have 15 songs on the album. We've released three so far, you know, with the last one being Understand. Understand. And mm. then on the 24th of April, all the songs are going to go active on all the online platforms. And, 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 and it's doing crazy already with the pre-orders. You know, it's ranking around number third with Alicia Keys, number two on the world premiere chart on iTunes. And a lot more things are happening already. So we're excited, you know about this new project and uh also i'm sure the Ghanaians are also buying into it because they are locked down like yourself absolutely like the the support base is, is huge because you know we've been working on this for a while now you know and and it would have been crazier with the physical interaction of the album with the people but you know we all know what's going on so we have capitalized i mean we have um um, um, um doubled up the um the push on, on the online bits. So it is reaching everybody in their homes. Trust me. Mm. African party. A lot of people are talking about that one. I like the way you're smiling. Um, people have said that maybe their inspiration came from the song that went viral, party after mm -hmm. party. Does it mm -hmm. have anything to do with that? Did you take anything from that? Um... I, I, I found out so later on, but it's all good because, you know, like they always say, uh, one big, uh, like me, me, music, we're all inspired by music. So I can't deny that probably at a part, at a point in time, the subconscious picked up that inspiration because, you know, music goes to the, um, the subconscious. So you just, you just have to take it like that. But if you know Stoneboy, you know that I, I don't, I, I, I mean, if, if, if I do get inspired by your thing, it's a blessing, you know, because I take it to the next level. So that's what you've done with African Party? Probably. But, you know, they know. I, I know that the artist is actually a friend of mine, literally, from Uganda, I guess. And he's been trying to work on a collaboration for a very long time. So, you know, we'll kick things soon, you know what I mean? Now, in this season where we are all locked down, do you think that we are getting enough entertainment from you artists and, you know... <laughs> Um, I think we are because this time has, and I've seen a lot of um, celebrities or actors, actresses, you know, and even people that are not in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the entertainment space become entertaining, you know, with some online apps and all of that. So I think there, would be, there, is, there is material out there if you want to get entertained. You know, there is enough. Do you, do you, are you feeling the industry? Is it tense? Because people are saying it's tense already with a lot of things going on around us. Um, songs that are being released, people say the vibes are not good for the season. Others say there's a beef and all that. Do you, do you feel there's some tension in, in the entertainment industry? Um, in the entertainment industry, it, 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 it always has to be tense to get it going. You know, it, uh, it's a battlefield, literally, and they say life is war, so it applies everywhere. And as far as I'm concerned, I see that, yes, people are releasing stuff. I'm going about my stuff as well, releasing singles of the album, you know, and people dropping many, many things for, for, for us to, to consume and use, you know. So there's enough. So you think the beef that is currently ongoing is okay? Oh, I wouldn't. If I, if I, if I just I accept that it's okay, then I, somebody might read me wrong. And, 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 and put meanings into just accepting that it's okay. I do not think that um, it ends there because it's part of the music. Like, it's part, it's part of the mu music vibes. You know, beefs are part of the music vibes, like people would always say. But I do not think beefs do bring us um, enough, enough it, do, it would bring us 
what we seek to achieve in the long run as an industry. So I wouldn't be one of the persons to encourage that, that part of, 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 of the music scene. Are you, you speaking know? from experience? Yeah, man, you know. <laughs> Mm. Uh, now also i heard you on another station on saturday saying that you're going to be tuned in to the faith concert did you manage to get that yeah i managed i was i, I managed to tune in from the beginning and then i loved up mm. but i, I heard shatawale say that only chris waddle and medical had congratulated him uh afterwards How, you didn't see the need or you weren't pleased enough you didn't think it went well you didn't congratulate him Oh, it's rather, I mean, it's rather unfortunate. I haven't reached out to congratulate him yet, but I think from the onset before the concert, I had done two radio interviews and I even spoke about how, how um, forward moving that is, you know. And having watched it. just a bit of it, um, what do you make of it? I think before, before he, if the show was even staged, I as an artist would have a, an overall idea about what it was you know for me i would rather leave it to the masses who you know who, who support us who seek to buy or consume what we do you know to 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 get the fight to, to get the judgment but for me i i felt that it was a good move to entertain people in this time you know but it wouldn't it's like it's a virtual concert and many of those have been done a lot of times but in these COVID times that's an applaudable move you know from 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 my brother Shatawale. Notwithstanding, I have to extend credits to um, I beat them also for doing same and manifest that did same at a, at a point in time as well. So in these times, whilst we pray that the virus runs away quicker than we expect, that will be the 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 the, the order of the day for musicians and artists all over all over the world. So now yeah. many people have expressed disappointment in you as not you in particular but artists in ghana as in general that even in this time when we are supposed to come together to project one cause which is putting maybe together a song that would educate as a unit about covid 19 everybody seems to be about their own business yeah i mean somebody may have a point at that as well you know just because they are not seeing it so they might conclude um, that they, they, they might jump into into that conclusion, but I think at a point before I even got to Ghana, I heard in the news that the government was going to allocate certain funds to help out to I mean to 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 support musicians or those who celebrities to push the cost. I was watching the uh, the program earlier, and somebody called from the north and was complaining about how the education is, hasn't reached that part. But that person or people from in the north will, will listen to musicians, will listen to people like us. And so imagine if we took that initiative very seriously, because I didn't hear the end of that. All I heard was, we don't, we don't deserve that the government helps us to, or uses us, you know, to propagate the information or to push the information um, um, across the country. So this would mean that in our various ways, we would be doing this from our independent, you know, um, 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 strengths, which can only go far, to which can only go an extent. But if the if that has happened, I'm sure that it would have become a tax for us creatives, you know, to join in the war proper, you know, by the state to push. So we can only do our best. So you are looking forward to be called on by government to become an influencer or an ambassador for COVID-19. Is that what you're saying? Any way that works, because it's not even about the, the title that is it, it, it's named. I, I, I do not seek to r jump about with the title influencer ambassador. But once we are at work by the state, commissioned by the state to call upon several top artists to make a move, you know, that would be the way forward. I think Kenya is doing it somehow. But I heard it as well in Ghana, like, but I don't know how that ended. That. Uh, Don't you think that the state, the state got disappointed, disappointed, I beg your pardon, when a lot of you uh, began to say you wouldn't do it for free and you needed to be paid to, you know, propagate the gospel uh, for uh, COVID-19? Thank you. That's another point. But I believe that um, we have always done things for free.
we're, we always are expected to do things for free, and it doesn't really get to the mark. And when I say free or um, being paid, I, I, I per se do not think that carrying money and putting my in my in my bank account and speaking about an, an agenda means that I it's the only way that I we, we, we seek to be paid. When we say paid, these things are happening. We we this is what we do as work as well. And I think people should understand this to a point. So aside um I'm being paid for what we do as work, you know, I think that we couldn't there's only a level we can get doing this for free. And this is what we're doing already. We've advocated, some of us are giving things, some of us are using our own monies to do stuff. And it will never be free, because if it was, the Chinese government and all these um, stakeholders and these entrepreneur, entrepreneurs would not be giving monies to the fund. So how should we, how can we be able to do this same work, but free from, free without any fund, without any support whatsoever or well, I, if i get I, you you also subscribe to the people of uh, the school of thought or the suggestion that you need to be given something if you are to show your face to educate people about covid 19. that's on the side because we have to respect the fact that this is what we do like you're on tv i believe that at the end of the month except you want to waive it because of so the you're not answering the question corona. from you you're not answering the question yes i'm no, saying do you subscribe that there should be payments do you subscribe that influencers or you as celebrities if you're asked or taxed to do this education you should be paid but i was coming to the answer anyway ah, okay please go to, ahead yes i was coming to the answer because is, is it is, would it not be marked as part of our work because this is what we do and aside that, there is a need to use money to do what we are going to do. So how would it have been then? But, but, but there are people who say that I'm these, these are people who, if they, so, they, they all die, nobody is going to listen to one God. So if the state but, provides but, you with the resources, just use your face and educate people. You, don't, you think that you still would have to be given some honorarium or some um, money? Yeah, like you're saying, honorarium would, however, would work because what would I feed my family with anyway in the end, at the end of the day? Because um, these are things that we overlook, and I think we're at a point where we all have to be, be truthful about it. Because artists and musicians works, and I know most of our, my, 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 my predecessors and my colleagues will bear with me, it, 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 it's, it's considered as... So we're from the initial idea of investing, uh, um, putting up money for the stuff. Where from the initial idea, if those who, those who started it did not think that this was deserving as a thing that we do, this is our work, and if I show my face, I'm working. Aside that. Hmm. Well, I, well I, I wish that we had t more time to, uh, to talk about this, but it looks like all of a sudden, yeah. all of you are thinking about money, 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 money. What has changed over the no, years? No, no, no. <laughs> you know... But it's not, it's not, it's, it, I don't think it's all of a sudden every, uh, musicians and creatives are thinking about money, money. Well, let me tell you, like, honestly, yeah, we, 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 we get the list of support, you know, when it comes to, in real life, because it's assumed that we have it all and we have to continue giving back and giving back and giving back. And that's how you realize that a lot of us go through a lot. So it wouldn't hurt to, if there be funds, to sort some people out, to do some of the things. It's just like when, when I went to Ashama to share food, whatever, um, to share the sanitary work, I ended up giving up money as well. Like, we keep spending, but who cares about us? You know what I mean? When this is a state thing that, but what is wrong at all if the government or whoever is organizing this thing comes out and gives some honorarium to its musicians and use them and, and, and make the musicians or the arts help them use them to achieve a greater goal because it's been done elsewhere like in kenya and the rest of, 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 of the african that, that's country. true so why unfortunately uh we have to go um uh, it's a good friday so we have a sermon coming up but yeah. thank you very much for making time thank to speak to much, us we appreciate dear. your thank time you and i know that we'll thank have time so to have much. a lengthier conversation thank you very much stone boy and uh, that much, stone yeah. reaching us uh, all the way from his residence uh we'll be talking about his album and Loga junction uh, covid 19 and all the issues around him uh, yeah, to say that support us to support you. Yeah, it's, a, it's only fair. He's mm -hmm. going to use data. He's going mm -hmm. to use his time, mm -hmm. his resources. It's only fair that you know. And I think that government should 
look them because mm. we're, we're looking at everybody. So <laughs> yeah, you know, we uh, initially yeah. had a conversation about local languages and how yeah. so you have some of them who could use their local exactly. languages through music. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think music, if they do it through music, music. exactly, people can do collect it easier. Yeah. So, uh, Fancy Gadam, mm -hmm. Stone Boy, Edem, mm. yeah. all of them come all together. Everybody, yeah. Amanzeba, you know, Adani Bears. But, but, but as much as they're waiting for governments, I think mm. that they should also take the step. Record oh, they have. Song. Yeah. 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 No, what I mean is, come together, record a song. At this point, you're out of an all star. Anyway, happy birthday to Precious Amasewa Boating and also to Noah Dekoxi. Uh, CEO of the Breeze in Cape Coast and Pastor Mensah Otabel come yeah, up at right. uh,